Hey guys, it's Lights Out from Madden Daily. In this video, we're going to show you the true effectiveness of fade routes. When the game first dropped, we showed you how to use a catch fade routes to the outside. That's not the only way to use fade routes in this game. People are using them putting the tight ends on fade routes in which they're unbubbable and they get inside position. Very, very effective. You can put them on the slot and motion one step, hike, and they're unbubbable. But what about the outside receivers? We need the outside receivers to be unbubbable. If you playmaker someone to a fade on the outside, they're not, they are going to get bumped, I'm sorry. But if you find plays in which they're already on fade routes, pre-stock fade routes, they do not get bumped. And we're going to show you a play called PA Double Stick out of Shotgun Normal in the Philadelphia Playbook. The left fade gets inside position every time in which all you have to do is precision the bullet pass to the right or to the inside. As you can see, I have Wes Welker there because of his speed and route running. On the right side, I have Gronkowski. He doesn't get inside position all the time. However, he doesn't get bumped, like I said. So a one-on-one -on -one position, he's going to make the catch every time. And he just got big for the touchdown. I advise putting your tallest player with the best catch in traffic on the right side. So he could do what I just did with Robbie. If you don't know how to do what I just did, check out our user catching tutorial that we posted about a month ago. The, the link will be in the description. Alright, so now we can make the slot unbumbable too. Put him on a fade and just motion him one step to the right and he will not get bumped by his receiver. As you can see, he doesn't get bumped. You can just throw it right to the inside for an easy game. Alright, now we're going to focus on the tight end. If you see that the linebacker that's that's guarding the tight end is on the inside of him you can put him on a fade and he'll get inside position literally almost every single time as you can see he makes the cut gets inside position for a huge gain if they're in a defense like dime or or anything where the defender is on the outside we could just streak him run the play action that we've been running and he should get open to the inside the reason why we run the play action is to eventually hit the draw that's in this set as well as you can see, just got a big game with the streak. Finally, if the slot is not getting bumped, instead of putting him on a fade, I want to attack the middle, so I put him on a slant in, and a lot of times he gets inside position. Guys, mix this in with the halfback draw, and it's really, really a pain to stop. If you see this, if you're playing against this online, do not play man against the fade routes. I advise you playing a cover four, Maybe playing with the middle linebacker and just trying to play the middle of the field yourself. Alright? It's your boy Lights Out from Madden Daily. Please subscribe to our channel. Like if you appreciate this. Peace, fellas.